Good day, all. You got gourd. You're hurting, hippie. It is hump day. It is Wednesday. It is the middle of the week. We've made it. We've made it partway. You can make it the rest of the way. And that's kind of what I'm wanting to talk about today. I met with a good friend yesterday. Shout out, Rebecca. Nice to have you here. Uh, <clears throat> we had a good long talk. We hadn't sat and talked for a couple of years. And we talked about the battle of depression. The battle of keeping the evil at bay. And I want to, and I'm going by the seat of my pants here. I'm just flinging out there, yeah, I got a couple of problems here. I break out when I'm nervous, and I'm nervous my son's away. And that's kind. that kind of segues into this depression because I told her I'm lucky I'm on an upswing of the depressive cycle. So once you get depression, it, it is a lack of certain chemicals inside your brain. And once you get it, it tends to cycle. It tends to come back. It tends to sometimes be worse and sometimes better. But it it's often there. And I said, I'm very lucky that Pasha went on this trip. My young boy went to Latvia with his mother. Uh, at the high end of my cycle, I could have spent this month crying and crying. Now, uh, but I did not. I did not, and I have not. He's been gone not quite two weeks yet, a week and a half, so I've still got two and a half weeks to go. And he just finished, uh, they went from Latvia to Holland, and he had some real fun there. And, uh, yeah, as usual, you know, his, his mother will take the odd time to take a little jab at me, because she knows my separation anxiety with him. But I've held together. I've held together, even though I had mouth surgery and, you know, so much stuff. And, and we talked about how do you, how do you live with depression? And you just have to understand that the darkness that you see or feel or understand isn't reality. It's caused by the chemical lack in your brain. Yes, some of you and me for a while need to take some pharmaceuticals. Sometimes cannabis is good enough. I'm not going to even recommend what's best for for anybody. Uh, you have to find what's there. But at least in today's society, we now have an additional choice. CBD is an actually, and CBC if you can find it, a wonderful, wonderful chemical for bringing back some neutrality to the brain for blocking out those traumatic events that tend to keep coming back and flashing at you. It certainly worked for me, but it doesn't work for everybody. It, it just can't. We are all such different animals that what works for me could work for my neighbor. And even if that's the case, the second thing that works for me may not work for my neighbor. It's all about your own body and the way you take in certain chemicals and, and emit them and, and deal with them. So everyone has to find their own, to find it. And even more important than that is your family, the people around you. And yes, you may, that may be the source of some of your, your uh, depressive ways. But find a way through it. Find a way into it. Find a way to bring light to it. Because it's up here. It really, truly is up here. And yes, chemicals can change that and help that. But so can thinking. So can a lot of good therapy. Yeah, if it's without chemicals, good therapy. But even better is group kind of therapy. Me talking to you, you talking back to me, me talking to my fr my other friends that may come over once in a while. That's where the true healing begins because you start seeing your importance. Deal with those that deal with you. Ignore those that can't. So friends, this is just something that was that was just growing inside of me and I had to get it out. 
remember look for people without a smile today give them one of yours it's a beautiful one peace and cheers catch you on the flip side